Hello and welcome to another video on this channel in which I'm going to show you how you can easily implement a custom search for any homepage with just a few lines of code. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So if your homepage is based on WordPress, you already got yourself a search and that works very well. So you have a database behind WordPress and this search goes through that database. For example, if I search for London here and yeah, it just finds all the articles here where I either have the word London or which are about London. Now, uh, when I want to search all those other pages, those are just HTML and PHP pages, which are not part of the WordPress here. So if you have a homepage, a static homepage, which doesn't have a database behind it, then how do you search it? And yeah, I didn't have a search for those for a long time, but uh, recently, a few months ago, I integrated it and it was actually very simple. And the first clue is basically when you use Google, what you can do, you can search a specific site. So for example, if you do a site column and then you have the homepage you want to search, in this case, my homepage, and then London, it will just give you search results for that page and also for the images. Now, what if you could have this exact search on your homepage? And this is what I've already integrated here on my homepage. You see up here, there's a search bar, it says search with Google. And if I search for London here, I get the exact same results as here on Google when I do the site search. And yeah, that's actually very easy to implement. What I have to do, I have to use the Google custom search. And this is just a little bit of setup. So if you have a Google account, you can create such a custom search for different pages and you can integrate it with a little bit of javascript which is provided by google and then a few lines of html so that's what we're going to do now and i'm going to use this homepage template which i covered in the previous tutorials uh, i want to have the search also here and i'll first show you how to do it from scratch basically having an html page where you have some a search field, some search button, and then also a results page. So let's get started. First of all, I want to show you this link here where Google has some documentation on how to use their custom search or their, as they call it, programmable search engine. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below. It's quite easy to understand, but yeah, we'll cover this in this tutorial anyways. So don't bother to show you more here. Let's go to the programmable search page, which is where you can manage all your custom search engines or programmable searches. You see here you have an add and delete. I already added this MeBright photo, which is the search I'm using on my site. So let's just have a look. So you get a quick overview on how you can configure it. And yeah, really there are many options you can do, but the only important option is really what is on the basics here give it a name, some description, maybe some keywords, and then you add a site down here, which you want to search. And then the most important thing really is this one, the public URL, which you integrate on your page, which is basically later the link. And also here you want to activate image search or not. And then save search, all the other stuff, just play around with it. There are explanations also on this documentation. Then down here in the look and feel, this is quite interesting. You can set up some colors here, some, some themes and customize it and also get a preview of how your search looks. So up here you have the search bar with a button and here are the search results. But I don't really bother about the look here, especially not about the search bar and the button because I don't even use this template from Google for that. I'm just interested in the results, which I just leave as the typical Google stuff. Let's just quickly look again at my homepage, how this looked. So basically it's the coloring, the same one which Google uses, but it already has applied my global font for the homepage. So I don't need to do anything here. I could if I wanted to change the colors and everything, but I just leave it. That's the familiar Google search look. And if you want, you can change it. So the easiest way to integrate the Google search is to create the search results page, which I've done here using my homepage template. Let me quickly show you how this looks. This is just some Nunjax code, which I use to basically set up all the base 
HTML with the keywords and everything. And then the only important thing for you is what's here in the content and also in the scripts. So you don't need to use Nunjax or Gulp for this. You can just create an empty HTML page. And then what we're now gonna do is all in the body of your HTML page. So for example, here, this minimal code here is basically <laughs> transformed into this by my homepage template. So it contains all the SEO stuff, the scripts, the navigation and all that stuff. So yeah, it's just what my template does. For this tutorial, you can ignore it. We just focus on the few lines of code which we're gonna write into the body tag. And those are first to include the scripts for the Google search. And if you remember, there was this URL which I pointed out, which you have when you create your Google search. And I use this exact URL here when loading the scripts with a little exception. I'm loading from cse.js. Let's have a quick look. The original URL, which we had in our setup for the search engine was this one, where it's just CSE and then some parameters. If you insert this in your browser, you get to your custom search engine. So a homepage with a search, which you can use to again, search for London. And what we use here is this URL, but we have this addition here. So we're loading the JavaScript for your Google search engine to include it on the homepage, which you want to design here. That's the first step. The second step is to activate the search results part. And for this, Google uses a specific class, which is this one here. So you just create a div on your homepage, which you assign this class here. Google custom search engine minus search results minus only. And that's what we're gonna do here. This minus only tells it to just use it for the search results. If you look at the documentation, which I showed you in the beginning, you see there are different other classes which would be used to include the complete search, including the search bar and search button. But here we just care about the results. Now let's save this. And I have to run Gulp, but if you're doing this on a normal HTML page, you don't have to do that. So if you've included this on your homepage, what you're gonna see is first, nothing. It will not change, but what you can now do, you can pass this homepage parameters and the parameter you pass is Q for query equals, and let's just use the same example we had before. So we do a London query and voila, you already see the search results and you also get the image search. So yeah, that was easy, right? Two lines of code and you have a custom search page. So this is now just the results page. That's most of the stuff you need to do now. Um, what we now miss is some search field. And for this, you don't need to use anything from Google. What we now do is we just create a form for that where we have some input field and then we're gonna send whatever query we write in that input to this search site and have the results. Quite easy as you'll see. And for simplicity's sake, we'll insert the search directly above the search results. So originally I said I want to have it in the header of each homepage and this is what I'm gonna do afterwards and I also show you the final result. But first to show you how it's done, I think the easiest is to yeah, just put the search up here above the results. And it's very easy. It's just a simple form, which as an action gets the search results page here, the search HTML. It uses the get method. Basically, whatever search I do, the query will be just appended. And then we have just an input of type text. So an input field where I can enter my search query. This here, this name is important because this is then used when the search is appended here to this URL. I have some placeholder text, I have some title, and that's all there is. And now I quickly compile it again, and we can have a look. So here you see now above the search results, which is empty, we now have this input field, and 
I didn't style it properly so this is something which I leave to you. I just go through the mechanics of this search. So let's do again London, press enter and you'll see here are the search results. Now also up here you see the search query was added here to this site. Let's do another one, maybe Rome. And again, you see the search query changed and we now have results for Rome down here. So very simple. What's now left to do for me is to put this search bar somewhere up here. So in the header of the template. Also what I'm going to do once I've done this, I push this all to my GitHub. And if you have followed my previous tutorials, you know that I have this available as open source. So you can use this template, play around with it. Currently it's very minimalistic. For example, up here, this is where you put some header images. Um, you also can change the styling and everything. So it's just the basic functionality. But yeah, after this tutorial is on YouTube, this template will also have a search bar here. So now this template really gets full functionality. So by now we have contact form, we have portfolio with a full screen. We will have the search bar, we have a home and you can easily extend it. For this, just watch my previous tutorials. Also, I have a tutorial on how to use this template over on my photography channel. So this is more an introduction on how to use the template. Gonna link this below if you're interested. But yeah, for now, I hope you enjoyed this very easy tutorial about how to use Google Custom Search or how they call it the programmable search engine. And yeah, just play around with it, use it on your homepage and enjoy having a very simple search without the fuss of needing a database and all that stuff.